Today's shout out goes to Carlsbad Promotions. Thanks again for supporting my YouTube channel on Patreon. I really appreciate it. Seventh grade open up resources, illustrative mathematics, unit three, lesson five, circumference and wheels. Problem number one, the diameter of a bike wheel is 27 inches. If the wheel makes 15 complete rotations, how far does the bike travel? 15 rotations times pi times 27 inches. 15 times 27 is 405. 405 times pi is 1,272 inches. The bike would have traveled 1,272 inches, which is equal to 106 feet. Problem number two. The wheels on Kieran's bike are 64 inches in circumference. How many times do the wheels rotate if Kieran rides 300 yards? Since there are 36 inches in a yard, we need to multiply 300 yards times 36 inches. That gives us 10,800 inches. Since the circumference of Kieran's wheel is 64 inches, we need to see how many times 64 inches goes into 10,800 inches. 10,800 divided by 64 equals 168.75. So Kieran's wheel has to rotate almost 169 times to travel 300 yards. Problem number three from seventh grade, unit three, lesson four. The numbers are measurements of radius, diameter, and circumference of circles A and B. Circle A is smaller than circle B. Which number belongs to which quantity? Let's look at some circles. Circle A is smaller. Now let's look at the numbers. We have a 2.5 and a 5. The 5 could be the diameter of the smaller circle, and 2.5 could be the radius of the smaller circle, since the radius is half the diameter. To find the circumference, we need to multiply 2 times pi times the radius. And 2 times pi times 2.5 equals 15.7. So 15.7 could be the circumference for circle A. Let's look at the other numbers. 7.6 could be the radius of circle B. And 7.6 times 2 would be 15.2. So the diameter of circle B would be 15.2. That leaves us with 47.7. So the circumference would be 2 times pi times the radius. And in this case, 2 times pi times 7.6 equals 47.7. Problem number 4 from 7th grade, Unit 3, Lesson 3. Circle A has circumference two and two thirds meters. Circle B has a diameter that is one and a half times as long as circle A's diameter. What is the circumference of circle B? Since the diameter of circle B is one and a half times larger than circle A's diameter, its circumference is also going to be one and a half times larger than circle A's circumference. So we can multiply one and a half times two and two thirds. That's the same as 3 halves times 8 thirds. That gives us 24 sixths. And 24 divided by 6 is 4. So the circumference of circle B is 4 meters. Problem number 5. From 7th grade, Unit 3, Lesson 2. The length of segment AE is 5 centimeters. A. What is the length of segment CD? If AE is 5 centimeters, then AC is also 5 centimeters, and AD is also 5 centimeters. So the distance from C to D would be 5 centimeters plus 5 centimeters, or 10 centimeters. B. What is the length of segment AB? Again, if AE is 5 centimeters, then AB will also be 5 centimeters. C. Name a segment that has the same length as segment AB. That's the radius of this circle, so you could pick any segment that looks like the radius. For example, AG, AE. You could even pick AD, AF, or AC. Show me some love. Like. 
comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.